Welcome guys to my level 1 to 100 or 250 leveling guide. Sorry it took such a long time to come out, but I went and I tried to research the best places and I had Paul go through it. You guys should know Paul if you watch my stream. He went through it and then decided to uh, refine my guide some more. So this should be the best version that I can possibly get give to you guys. Uh, for a level 1 to 250 leveling guide. So without a further ado, Paul, you can kick it off and tell the people what they need to do to start off. Okay, so some classes, you start out as level 10, for example, like Phantoms. Like Phantoms, you drink that little potion and it takes you to like, to like level 17. But other classes, let's say you start to like, start at level 1. Um, you want to do the requests. I feel like quests for like pre level 10 are pretty useful. And yeah, should we, should we go with the next one? Next part? All right, guys. So at level 10, you're supposed to be at Streetlight Row. And any uh, additional comments you would like to add, Paul? No. They give. Um, well, let's leave the party real quick. So we're sharing XP. They give 53 XP per kill. And they're relatively like low HP, so you can kill them pretty fast. All right, and let me just give you a little perspective of how to get here. So right now we're in Streetlight Row. When you leave, as you can see, let me just go back to Edelstein so I can show you guys how to get here. So right here I'm in Edelstein, Edelstein, whatever it's called. Go to the map, the right portal, and then you go past these blimps, and then you go to the next map past the pointed signs and then you'll be at Edelstein scrolling pad 3 you go past these little fennec fox looking guys and then finally you'll be at path 4 with these uh, little trash bags and you go through this portal in the top left to get to uh, these street lamps so you're gonna want to do the street lamps until level 22 or so usually if you're more funded and you have good damage or you're naturally a high damage class such as shade you can leave these street lamps sooner and uh, but you know 22 is usually a good level to leave here go okay so this next part um, I have something I found so most people think that you can only go to gold beach when you're level 35 through the quest but you can actually come to the six path crossway and click this guy right here Pilot Irvin, so we'll click him now, and then now we're at Go Beach, and you can come here at level twenty, twenty-two. Like recommend the twenty-two, or if you're funded twenty, and this this is where you'll be training till level forty. All right. So, so okay. these, yeah, these guys give a uh, hundred EXP per kill. So that's a ton of EXP at level twenty-two slash twenty, and it should get you. Uh, up to level 40 very quickly, especially if you have Holy Symbol and a 2 times EXP card. The spawn is so good. You don't even need a Kana for this map. Alright guys, so at level 40, we will go to the next training spot. Alright guys, so the next training spot, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get there. Actually, I'm kind of lost right now. Paul, where are you at? Right now, the training spot at level 40 until which level? Uh, 60. All right, from 40 to 60, we are going to be going to Skelly Dogs. So let me just take you through there. It's kind of difficult to get there. So uh, I will just show you guys the path there. Well, Paul will lead the way, and I will show you guys. All right, here we go. You go. You just follow the path up to Dusty Wind Hill from Perion, and then you continue going up to what is this? Perry on Northern Rocky Ridge Road. Oh, Perry, sorry, Perry on Northern Ridge, of course. Or Mini Rocky Road, sorry. <laughs> and also, uh, along with uh, Skelly Dogs being good EXP with really good spawn, that also means they are very good at uh, farming elite mobs. You will get a ton of well, and you know, in uh, in comparison, you'll get a ton of elite mobs, which you will be able to get. You know, certain things such as protection scrolls, such as such as here, slow down. Such as uh, lucky days, such as clean slates, and you can sell those for a good bit of money. So if you get lucky, you can uh, get a good bit of uh, meso while training here from forty to sixty. 
The only thing is, like, they do a lot of damage. But if you're, like, a warrior class, shouldn't be a problem. You just need pots yeah, for all these sure. strings pots. All right, so we're keeping we're in the excavation site now. Let's keep on going right. It's a bit of walking, but it's worth. Hopefully, you guys are keeping track of everything, and then you go into Agent M, the excavation intermission area, and here we hold up. Here we look at are the spot. Right now. <laughs> the spot is wow. gone. Wow, there's just many dogs. So these guys give you. Let's see how much exp they give you. Two fifty six. They give you two hundred fifty six exp per kill. And they will get you from 40 to 60 very, very quickly. And you can use this little portal right here at the statue, and it takes you all the way up. So basically, you can just go here, clear this. Well, all right, pause on this. Clear this, clear this, clear this, and repeat. Now, keep in mind, at level 40, you probably won't be able to clear all these, and the spawn will be just so fast, you won't be able to even kill all these. So you want to, once again, you want to do this from 40 to 60, and now we will be going to the next training spot. All right, guys. So at level 60, you're going to be wanting to come to El Nath here. And what you have to do is you have to go to the Danger Zone Taxi. And yes, we are going to be training from level 60 to 70 through White Fangs. Now, they do have a good bit of HP, but, you know, it's definitely worth killing. I think they, uh, they give you 780 EXP per kill. Uh, it may take you a little while to kill them at first, but you will eventually uh, be able to kill them with relative ease, and you should get from level 60 to 70 rather quickly. All right, we're back at Elnath now, from level 70 to 140. Well, you're going to only have one training spot that's very effective. You have to do Romeo and Juliet PQ. Now, let me just give you a few tips about Romeo and Juliet PQ. All you have to do is come in here and say, J, join R and J. RNJ PQ and uh, usually what you want for RNJ is you're gonna want a Kana and Holy Symbol and make sure the average level of the party is higher than you because you get significantly more EXP for uh, people who are higher than you. Uh, also, if you guys don't know how to do RNJ, you go through the first stage which is looking for random items, the second stage which is clearing mobs, the third stage which is filling up the beakers, and then you just grind for the fourth stage for the rest of the time. It shouldn't take you long at all to get from 70 to 140, so you should just do RNJ. And when you get to 140, I will see you guys in the next clip for the next training spot. Also, just a uh, quick note real quick. If the average party members are five levels or higher than you, you will not get any Leech XP. This is pretty much a mechanic in this entire game, but just wanted to remind you guys that if the average party is uh, more than five higher than you, then you're going to be pretty much gimping your EXP rate. So while it is good to have the average uh, level be higher than you, make sure that it is five levels or less. All right, guys. So I'm just going to be real with you guys. For, between the levels of 140 and 163, in my personal opinion, they are the hardest levels in the game. Now, one method that you should do is Evo Lab. Now, do Evo Lab five times a day or as many times as you can handle. And the cores that you're gonna that you are gonna be wanting, if you can get better ones in these, that's fine. But you should just buy the ones in the store. You should get Monster Level Core plus seven, Monster XP times five, and Monster Population times thirty. These are the three cores you're gonna be wanting. And let me just show you guys real quick that the map you're gonna be wanting to train on. So when you're doing this, have the Monster Population the monster HP times five, and then the monster level plus seven. Now, if you have like HS or whatever, and the average level of the guys in the party are higher, or like what the, of your uh, bishop is higher, maybe you don't need the monster level core, but this is the link that you're gonna be wanting to train in, link three. So, yep. It's pretty self-explanatory. You know when this thing blows up, all the mobs come towards the center. I'll just wait for that. So basically, you're just going to be wanting to kill mobs. And let's let's just wait for this little generator thing to blow up so you guys can see all the mobs being uh, funneled towards this part of the room. And it makes training infinitely easier for you. Uh, let's just wait any minute now. This should blow up. There it is. And as you can see, they all funnel towards the middle of the room. Make oh, also keep in mind if you could somehow get a Kana and Holy Symbol in here. Well, maybe not a Kana, but have Holy Symbol on the outside. That would be amazing. Like you know, come out here, 
have a little account here, HS, and then go back in, you know, th that will speed your training up immensely. Now, between the levels of 140 and 163, there's also another training method that is pretty efficient, and that is Dimensional Invasion. So let's just head back out and go into Dimensional Invasion. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory to do. You're pretty much going to have to kill mobs uh, for a couple minutes, kill you know three bosses or so and it's over so this is dimensional invasion you talk to piston and you just go begin invasion uh you know it's pretty uh pretty difficult to do if you aren't funded but uh I, these are pretty much the only two ways you can do uh if you can't if you if you can't uh solo dimensional invasion the best bet is to get party members because you'll still get pretty good exp and uh having hs and all that would also be great you don't need a Kana for Dimensional Invasion. Alrighty guys, so if you have made it this far into the guide, it's pretty smooth sailing now for the rest of the levels. So from level 163 to 168, you're going to be wanting to do Stronghold uh, Drill Hall 1. Now let me show you how to get there. So we're in Leaf Free right now, I'm pretty sure we can all get to Leaf Free. Now as you can see, you have to go to Leaf Free Station, and then climb up. Pass Tammy, the crew member, and you'll see this half dragon dude, Cobra, and he will turn you into a dragon. So now we're just going to fly to Temple of Time now. All you have to do is just press right and wait for your little dragon self to fly there. So let's just keep on flying. It takes about 30 seconds to get there. It's kind of a hassle, but whatever. If you have a hyper tele rock, you know, this helps a lot, but if you don't, what you're gonna have to do before going into Stronghold is you're gonna have to do some pre-quest through Chief Alex. Uh, I think the quest is called Investigating the Stronghold. What you have to do is, here I'll show you guys when I get there. So let's just first go there. All right, so we're in Temple of Time now. And we're just gonna wanna climb up. All right, I'm pretty bad at climbing up. So let's go to Temple of Time. And now where you're going to be wanting going is the first portal with the door with the red marble over it. And then go right to this portal to future Hennessy's. Now, if this is your first time going to Stronghold, what you're going to be wanting to do is uh, go through some quest lines from Chief Alex. It'll be called Investigating the Stronghold. And then after that, you can just go through this portal right here. And then you go down one and then down another map and you'll be pretty much at Stronghold. All right, and then you go to the right. And now if this is, once again, if this is your first time going, there will be like little black ninjas here and all you have to do is kill them until they drop. Uh, let's see if I still have that item, I should. Right here, Cygnus Knight Emblem. You have to have them drop one of these. After that, you'll be able to go through here. And this is Drill Hall number one down here, the first portal right here. This is drill hall number one. These mobs are level 168. So if you can find a party in here, you will be able to get leech EXP. And from level 168, all the way until 250, the training spot's not that far away. All you have to do is go up here to drill hall number two and there's probably gonna be people in here. No, all right, well, all you have to do now is train here. Make sure if you're trying to find a party, go, oh, this is channel one. It looks like right now there aren't too many people training, uh, but usually there will be many, many people in channel one and, or, and you can just say join party or you can surf the channels and just be like join party and I'm sure there will be many people who want to add you guys. So, yep, that is the level one to 150 leveling guide, guys. In the next clip, I will be giving you guys some general tips and tricks that you guys should keep in mind while training. Alright guys, so just for some general tips and tricks. Now, of course, I'm sure every single one of you guys know that you're going to be wanting a bishop for holy symbol, which gives you 50% bonus EXP. So that is a huge amount of EXP you get from bishops. If you can't get a bishop, you can get a beast tamer. Their party buff gives you 30% bonus EXP. It's not as good, but if you can't find a bishop, a beast tamer will do. Also, a Kana would be very useful for training because they have a skill called Kishin, which increases the spawn of a map immensely. And now just for some uh, you know, extra tips in case you guys don't know, 
Uh, make sure that party members in your party are within 40 levels of your level. If they aren't, then you won't get EXP or leech EXP no matter how close level the monsters are to your level. So, you know, there's two criteria for you getting a uh, leech EXP. One of them is that the monster has to be within five levels of your level. And also the second one is that the party members have to be within 40 levels of you. Now, guys, uh, you know, I would also want to say, once I said earlier, 140 to 163 is the hardest levels. After that, they will get significantly easier, I can guarantee you guys. Uh, so, yeah, guys, you know, level 1 to 250 is definitely not easy, but as long as you set your mind towards it, I'm sure you can accomplish it. Now, uh, I just want to say uh, some uh, parting words. I want to thank Paul for training copious amounts of accounts. Most of them are link skills, but still training up copious amounts of accounts to test these training spots to ensure that they are indeed at least the fastest uh, that I know of. Uh, so, yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, once again, you guys should thank Paul for all his hard work, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.